Hey gents, today we're going to take a look at my latest Stitch Fix, but what I'm really going to highlight today are the changes to Men's Stitch Fix, essentially the 2.0 of this. I was one of the first guys to check out Stitch Fix when they launched two years ago. There have been a lot of guys that have signed up for Stitch Fix based on my early videos. I get great feedback from guys using the service, so I love to continue to recommend them. Stitch Fix also gets a lot of recommendations from their customers based on the things that guys weren't seeing that they wanted, so they are launching new categories, new sizes, and basically to help cater to us guys even better and so they wanted to sponsor this video for a 2.0 update on why you should try Stitch Fix It out now. All of my opinions have been formed on using the service for the last two years and recommending it to a lot of my friends and family because it, after trying all the services it really is the best one out there for us guys. So if you want to check it out I'll put a link below that lets them know you came from me, supports the channel. We'll talk about the process, the upgrades, and then my experience overall. So first the process, you sign up, you tell them who you are and what you like. You go through a very detailed profile file where you say the brands you like to shop, the sizes you like to shop. You even put in your budget. So if you watch some of my older videos, my budget for clothes is set at like Nordstrom quality levels. I'm ready to invest in pieces, get nice jackets, nice shoes, nice shirts. So you can set that lower based on your budget preferences for the service. Now you pay a $20 styling fee to get your first fix. However, anything you keep, you get that $20 credited right back. So I have my latest box right here and I wanted to check it out. Because after you fill everything out, a personal stylist will fill this box for you. You will get the items to try on at home. You try on everything in the box, and then whatever you don't keep goes right into this prepaid return bag. You drop that at any UPS location, and then you're set to go. So here, looks like we have a pair of shoes, because I did ask for some sneakers and shoes. And then in here, uh, generally you'll get five items, but they have added things like, um, underwear and socks and, and other add-ons you can put in here. So this is my very whoops, summer themed box here. Ooh, Leadberry, one of my favorite shirting companies. Uh, then we have a pair of shorts. And for me, the biggest thing with Stitch Fix is it eliminates the time that I'm going to the store. It eliminates the time that I'm hunting down clothes. I'm not so much concerned on getting a deal as I am the convenience of literally having all this stuff at my house so I don't have to go out and shop. And here we've got the loafers I asked for. So let's try this stuff on while I go over all of the new upgrades to the service. So the upgrades that Stitch Fix is bringing to the service is they have whole new categories. They have suit separates, dress shirts, dress shoes. They're really focusing in on tailored wear. They're also going into more active wear. So golfing, hiking, running, exercise gear, all of that will now be available to your stylist if that's what you would like. And also looking at more technology-based clothing. So comfort, stretch waistbands, cooling cotton, moisture wicking tech. They're also adding new brands like Bonobos, Polo, Ralph Lauren, and Tommy Hilfiger. And then they're also expanding their sizes. So they will cover guys from extra small to 3X and then waist sizes 28 to 40. They're adding big and tall sizes from the brands that they offer already. And like I mentioned, they're also getting more into underwear, undershirts, and socks that you can add in on top of your box so it doesn't count towards the five items that you receive, but you can just throw those in there so that you can entirely skip going to the store. So finally, my experience, and you can see this in the progression of the boxes that I've received in the past couple of years. Your first one is usually pretty good. I would say that you're going to get about 50% of the items in the box you'll want to keep. The other 50, eh, maybe, maybe not. The key here is that you give detailed feedback to your stylist and let them know what you do like, what you don't like, why you don't like it, and what you would like in the future. Because their goal is to send you a box where you keep everything. Their goal is to make sure they nail your fit perfectly, they nail your branding and your style. They want to nail that perfectly. So give give detailed feedback in your first one. It took me about two fixes to get to the point where I loved everything. And even now that I've got this back and forth with my stylist, they included these shorts from John Barbados, which I probably wouldn't have seeked out in a store, but now that I have them, I see them, I really like the style, and my stylist knows that I'm willing to go up into the higher price tiers if I find something that I deem to be worth investment. And same thing with these Leadberry shirts. These Leadberry shirts are not cheap, but it's a, it's a brand that I love and they know that I'm ready to go into that space and they know that purple looks pretty good on me. So I'm really happy with that. So that is Stitch Fix Men and some new stuff coming to the service. As I said, I recommend it to friends and family. Strongly recommend it for you. I'll put that link below so you can check it out. And I'd love to hear your experience if you have used it because it's all about this wisdom of the stylish gentleman crowd. So thank you for watching and until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier.
You're so mangy, Mona. Unless you count cats, you died alone. The Mona Lisa sucks. Da 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 da.